When I see a table filled with handbags just like this for $200 a piece, and I'm thinking, I can make these. I can make a lot of money at this. I read a story about a woman in Rhode Island made a killing painting faces on rocks. And that's not a craft. That's just vandalism. So this is just like the ones they sell at Bloomingdale's. But I don't fool around with the fancy stitching. I just use airplane glue. Hey, I think I'm copping a buzz from this one. <laughs> planning on selling these anyway she's looking at me isn't she <laughs> it's not a big deal is it honey I thought maybe you could show it to some people around here they're very reasonable I only want a hundred and fifty dollars a piece what <laughs> all right twenty nine ninety five I took a shot <laughs> well I think that they're really cool I think you'll have no problem selling them oh Shelly you're so sweet just for that I want you to have this one yeah, I want you to have it. And if you get hungry, those are real gummy bears. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, yum. <laughs> okay, Ma, I'll ask around the office. Oh, thanks, honey. Sure. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to me. It's like I have this whole creative side that I've never gotten to express before. Except when I made that Polynesian Passover. Right. Right. <laughs> Seeing my dad wearing a grass skirt and a yarmulke really answered the question, why is this night different from all other nights? <laughs> Okay, get this off me before it spreads. But you don't like it? Why don't you signal? All I know about women's fashion is to tell them it looks nice and try to figure out whether it unhooks in the front or the back. <laughs> but now I'm stuck selling these things. Well, uh, some women might like them, right? Conrad, a tribeswoman from a remote jungle who had never before seen a white man or a handbag would instinctively know that this is a piece of crap. <laughs> hey, Carol, come here for a second. Let me ask you something. Would you buy one of these? Oh, were they made by the blind? Uh, no. Then no. Miss Lorraine, it's not like it's gonna bite you. <laughs> And she didn't scream when her finger got cut off. Hey, Conrad, did you make that bag? No, my mom did. You want one? No, I want whatever she took before she made it. Hey. Hey. Hey, Mo, how'd it go with the catalog people? Did you get the job? No, I did not. Those idiots did not think I was good enough to photograph fruit. <laughs> But to hell with them, because I kidnapped their supermodel. Oh, Ma, it's okay. You're so good. You just need that big break. I guess. I just feel my education was very misleading, you know? Felix made it look so easy being a photographer on The Odd Couple. Oh, mm -hmm. tell me about it. Advertising was a snap on Bewitched. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, read Solzhenitsyn's Gulag Archipelago. That'll put everything into perspective. <laughs> Excuse me for trying to raise the bar a little. All right, I'm going to the kitchen. Molly, you want anything? Thanks, no. Pompous boy? No, I'm good. Wow. What is with the scary purses? <laughs> this one looks like a figure skating outfit with handles. My mom made it. Oh. Actually, that one's called the Boitano. <laughs> so, um, Con. Yeah? I, um, I'm $300 short of my rent. And so I was just wondering if there might be any freelance stuff around here you could put me up for. Oh, uh, Molly, I, I don't think there is okay. anything. No, I mean, I, you know, if there were, I would I know. absolutely. I know, forget it. But look, let me at least help you out with your rent. Oh. Um, listen, here's a black check. Oh! Which I'm filling in for $300. <laughs> Kittens? You have kittens on your checks. I checked the wrong box, okay? I only have to go through a thousand more, and then I can order the heterosexual one. Thank you, Conrad. I I'm sure I'll get some crappy something, and I'll be able to pay you back. But just, you know, keep in mind, if any freelance stuff at all comes up... Hey, isn't Faye looking for a photographer for that salad dressing account? Molly could do that. Do you think I have any kind of shot at it? Oh, yeah. We can pretty much recommend who we want. <gasps> wow! Well, this is it. I mean, this is the break that we were just talking about. I, um, okay, I'll, uh, I'll leave my book for okay. her to see. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I guess it looks like I won't be needing this right now. So.
Goodbye. Thanks, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay? Bye. Bye. What the hell did you do? <laughs> How could you just tell her that I was going to get her a job? I can't do that. She's not ready for this. That salad dressing account is huge. Oh, I'm sorry, Conrad. I didn't know. Well, now I'm going to have to make up a story to get out of this. I mean, if she screwed it up, it'd be my ass. I can't take that risk. Oh, how can I make it up to you? Buy a purse? Hey, I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> Was I doing it again? Yeah, one more time and you're out. Oh, no, please don't make me go back home. Mom is driving me crazy with this whole entrepreneur thing. Okay, she sits at home watching the Home Shopping Network going, I can do that, I can make those, I can blow glass. <laughs> I smell airplane glue. What is this? Would you put that away? It scares the dog. I thought you told Mom you sold all her purses. I'm telling. Look, no one would buy him, so I'm writing her a check to spare her feelings. Oh, that's actually really sweet. And yet, I'm telling. <laughs> oh, would you cut it out? Okay, what did you tell her when she showed you the purses? The truth, that they look like Joan Rivers, the bag. <laughs> anyway, hurry up and write her that check. I need the money. What are you talking about? I get a cut. Mom made me senior vice president. As long as I make my bed and do the dishes. <laughs> Hey. Hi, Molly. Hi. <laughs> Man, I have had the greatest day, Conrad. I spent the whole afternoon in Central Park. I shot like ten rolls of film. I think I got some really good stuff. The chance at this job is making me feel like a real photographer again. <laughs> Molly, I'm sorry you didn't get the job. Oh, I can't believe it. I thought this was a total lock. I even, I went to a psychic who said so. She obviously lied. Although, I guess on the upside, this means that maybe I won't die fat and alone at 35. Listen, I went to Faye all ready to fight for you, but it turns out we lost the account. Oh. Well, at least you believed in me. That means something. Well, listen, why don't I get my stuff and we'll go to a movie. We can see one of those ones you like, you know, where people only get hurt emotionally. <laughs> you know what? I don't feel like it anymore. I'm just going to go back home. And maybe I'll call my mom, you know, because there's no sense in having her ruin a good day. Before you go, here, let me give you that check to help you with your rent. Conrad, thank you. It's saving my life. <laughs> you know, if you are fat and alone when you're 34, I'll marry you. Really? Yeah, what the hell? You only have a year to live. Uh -huh. <laughs> knock, knock. Yes. Who? Oh, Nina, don't tell me that's another box of handbags. Actually, it's three boxes. Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> All right. Well, Carol, thank you so much. Wait, wait just a minute, Carrie. Honey, do you have a dollar? Mom, it's okay. Carol, thank you. Mom, right. what is more persons? Well, I, it, it, well, Nina told me you did so well selling the first batch, so I, you know, thought we should bring some more. You know what? I think we should raise the price, too. I mean, after all, the first batch sold so easily. You better pray you never need a bone marrow transplant. <laughs> Connie, what do you think? I made these all out of your baseball cards. Mom, that's worth like $500. You really think so? That's great, Mom. That's great. Just leave them here. I'll take care of them, okay? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting about a storage locker account to go to, so... I mean, first, you know, you're not the only one who's busy. I have to get my spring line out. It's not like I can fill the basement with illegal aliens and start a sweatshop. I can't, can I? No, Mom. <laughs> So we were thinking, Mrs. Hudson, the groom puts all the wedding gifts in a West Coast storage locker, right? And it's so spacious, he even has room for his mother-in-law. Um, uh, oh, uh, well, I don't know. I guess it could be, you know, it sounds like an ad. Do you want some time to think it over? Um, maybe. Well, no, well, I don't know. See? This is terrible. When I divorced my husband, he told me I was too indecisive to run this company, and I'm starting to agree with him. <gasps> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I 
can make a decision. Watch this. I hate it. <laughs> that was fun. Pitch me something else. Uh, hey, Conrad. Shelly, uh, what about that idea you had last night? Uh, well, I, I was thinking of a campaign with a cartoon kangaroo. And um, she would hold out her pouch and say something like, Hi, I'm Susie Storage. Put your stuff in me. No, come on, Shelly. You got to do it like you did last night. You know, hop around, make that stupid kangaroo face. I wasn't making a kangaroo face. You know, uh, oh, dear. I just, I don't, uh, I, I just, I'm indecisive again. I mean, do I, do I give you another chance or do I go to another agency? Conrad. I, uh, okay, okay, okay. I do have another idea. I, I don't know if it's anything, but, uh, hey, Carol, could you bring me one of those purses, please? Okay. What about an ad where we see a mother making these really tacky handbags? Right? The son lies and says he sold them at his office to spare her feelings. But soon the things are like piling up. Where does he put them? West Coast Storage Locker. Oh, I love it! Oh, that was so easy. And you know, this is going to be the perfect way to introduce West Coast Storage to the East Coast. Ah. Wait, 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 wait a minute. East Coast meaning here? Uh huh. You're going to air this commercial on the East Coast? <laughs> My mother lives on the East Coast. <laughs> I thought West Coast Storage was on the West Coast. Uh, we're going uh, national. Yeah, but it's West Coast Storage. It should be on the West Coast. <laughs> it's just a name. Western Union delivers everywhere. Well, it shouldn't. <laughs> hey, look, my mother's going to see this commercial. But now, why does he keep mentioning his mother? We're as concerned as you are. <laughs> <gasps> oh, my God. It's hideous. <laughs> You know, it doesn't have to be handbags. I mean, it could be hats or well, sweaters or bird houses. You or... know, maybe you could be. No, no, no. I made a decision and we're going to stick to it. Handbags it is. Huh. Well, I'm going to run. You know, I just love this being decided. I hate that top. Well, see, that's just mean. And yet, it's fun, too. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Look, my mother watches a lot of TV. She's going to see this commercial and know that I didn't sell her purses. You know, it's times like this I'm glad I had my tear ducts removed. <laughs> um, excuse me, Faye? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Molly Davenport. I'm Conrad's friend. Um, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry you lost that salad dressing account, but, but thank you very much for considering me for that job. Never heard of you, and we didn't lose the account. <laughs> I'm kidding. And if you knew me, you'd know that I have absolutely no sense of humor. All right, Mom. Where do you want to go to lunch? You never talked to Faye about me, did you? Who told you? Faye. <laughs> Uh, look, you want to go to my office? No, Conrad. You lied to me. Look, Molly, I'm sorry, okay? I was going to talk to her, but you really don't have that much experience with this guy. Oh, my God! So now you never thought that I could do this job at all. Okay, shh, 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 shh. Okay, listen. I don't know if you could do it, but you had no right to put me in that kind of position. Okay, I've only been here two months, my boss hates me enough as it is, and you're asking me to choose between putting my job on the line and screwing you over. Oh, thank you. Thank you for thinking that recommending me would put your job on the line, Mr. Big Career Guy. You know what, Conrad? You're the one who said to me, all I need is one big break. Well, if my best friend is not going to help give me that, then, then, then who is? Molly, Go I... Go to hell, Conrad. Look, what would you have done if you were in my position? Well, all I can say is, when I was working at Banana Republic and you were just at the Gap, I went out on a limb to bring you over. <laughs> I'm still getting a little bit of a shadow. Can, can you just move to your left? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. I love it. <laughs> um, listen, I have a little tip for you. Um, if you tilt your chin up just a bit, you will look a lot thinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great. 
Okay, well, I'll make you an extra one so you can send it to your honey. <laughs> well, it, it says here, I guess, that you killed her. <laughs> so, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Next. Okay, Mr. Evans, step to the line and face forward, please. Yes, you're over there. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Your roommate told me you were working over here. Yeah, um... I'm replacing their regular guy because he got stabbed 57 times. If you excuse me, I have some work to do, okay? Molly, I got you the salad dressing account. You're in my light. Excuse me. Sorry. Son. How about if you give me a smile, huh? Because, you know, if you escape, this might be the picture that ends up on the local news. Huh? Hello, Molly. Did you hear me? I got you the job. This is where you say thank you. Next. No, no. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, well, I guess you're feeling pretty guilty, huh? He had it coming. <laughs> One second, okay? Listen, Molly, I talked to Faye, okay? I told her how great you are, that I believe in you, and that she should give you a chance. Okay, all of a sudden, yesterday, you didn't think I was right for this job, but now, today, you do? Okay, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure you're ready. Ow! <laughs> but the thing is, my job isn't what's important. Our friendship is. Uh, Molly, I wish you'd say something, you know? I'm being real sensitive, and these guys are looking at me over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Conrad. I, uh... I don't want the job. Excuse me? Yeah, I, d I don't want a job at your agency. No, no, perhaps you didn't understand me before. I went to bat for you, okay? You've got to take this no, job. No, I do understand, but don't you understand? Conrad, I took rent money from you. I mean, I asked you for it, and you gave it to me. It was great. I appreciate it. Thank you. But also, it makes me hate you. It's like it's like rubbing my face in the fact that you're here with your career and everything else, and I'm way down here. On, not... Listen to me. I never should have asked you for that job. Because you're right. It messed things up between us, and and this is what's important. Okay. Okay. Hey. Mm. Made for TV movie hug? I think so. Okay. Yeah. No. No. All right. All I'll, right. Uh, see you later. Hey, Conrad. I mean, thank you for doing such a great thing for. I know, I know. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm ready. I need a minute. <laughs> Conrad, your mother's at reception. Oh, thanks, Carol. I'm taking her to lunch to tell her about the commercial. You know, I figured it'd be better coming from me than if she just saw it. Okay, wait. Your mother's at reception? Because... All the women are hanging out there who are auditioning to play her in the commercial. Oh, God. Uh, hi, Mom. <laughs> Ready for lunch? Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, we can go in a minute. Can I just talk to you for a second? There you go. Sure. What's with all the young ladies? You know, three of them saw the Titanic, not the movie. They're casting a commercial I wrote. Uh, so, so the son puts the handbags in the locker, and the tagline is, when you've got something so repulsive, you want to hide it from the world. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. You know, I know it must be upsetting that I lied to you about liking the bags and the that I sold them. But I was just trying to be supportive and protect you, and... Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Let me get this straight. One of those women out there is gonna play me. <laughs> That's what you're upset about? Yeah, yeah. The bags aren't great. I knew that when they melted in the rain. So what? But, uh, anyway. 
you know, I've bragged to all my friends that you're in advertising, and, and they all know I'm making those bags, and they're going to see this commercial and think that's how you see me. I'm not that old, you know. I'm a young, vital woman. With the help of medical science, I could have a baby, and he wouldn't do this to me. <laughs> Here you go, sweetie. I've made a dozen more handbags for you to take to the office and sell. <laughs> Not bad, huh, Ma? Donna Mills playing you. I had to pull quite a few strings to make that happen, but it was worth it. I mean, she's a pretty glamorous woman. Wait, she's using too much glue. <laughs> 